Hello, family and friends. Hello, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Matt, the creator of Clearlight Media. I hope you'll join me for adventure, inspiration, travel, helpful products and reviews, and the whatevers and whatnots, small and great, of daily life. Each video features original music. Please subscribe, share, like, and comment. The last terrace is wide with a cruciform shape and has four pools representing the oceans around Mount Meru. Beyond lies the second Naga bridge that leads to the outer gallery, then the inner gallery. Panam Rung was built between the 10th and 13th centuries, with the main prong being built in the 12th century. It was on the ancient travel route said to be 225 kilometers, today 375 kilometers, six hours by car, between Angkor in what is now Cambodia and Phi Mai, just north of Nakhon Ratchasima, aka Karat in modern day Thailand. It's a Khmer Hindu shrine to Shiva and represents Mount Kailash, Shiva's exalted home. Over the years there were about a dozen buildings on the site made of pink sandstone with laterite bases. A few of the buildings, as well as the once wood-covered inner gallery, are now only identified by their remaining foundations. From 1971 to 1988, Panam Rung was restored to what we see today. As you walk through from east to west, 
you come to the third Naga Bridge that delivers you into the inner courtyard with the 23 meter tall prong directly ahead. This entrance was once guarded by two stone giants, but today it's a sign and chain that keep people out. Double porch doorways lead out in all directions and have abundant images of Shiva, Vishnu, and scenes from the Hindu epics Ramayana and Mahabharata.
sanctum under the main prong has a linga, the divine symbol of Shiva. There are also signs of a significant water system, which makes Panamurung an ancient technological site.
this was once a library. I'm curious about what is still here on the floor. The doorways, lintels, and all the stone carvings are the most intricate and divinely artful that I've seen. I will like to come back here to spend much more time. We were only here a few hours and it was nowhere near enough.
UNESCO's Justification of Outstanding Universal Value states, quote, The Sanctuary of Panam Rung, Sacred Tower of Plai Bot, and Temple of Mong Tam are a unique complex of Angkorian structures that, with the associated berets and water control systems, reflect outstanding aspects of architecture, engineering, arts, skilled craftsmanship, stone building and brick construction, irrigation, universal astronomy, governance and theology, landscape, human settlement and land use, and profound wisdom of world gravity knowledge." Unquote. Since this is the highest point as far as the eye can see, the view in every direction is expansive. I've walked through the entire site, east to west. Here 
is looking back through the Lion Guards at the west entry. Next we go just five miles downhill to another Kame Hindu temple site that was joined to Panam Rung by canals. Then we go two hours to Surin province to see a small but artistically significant temple site. Please join me next time at Prasat Muang Tam and Prasat Sikorapun. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned to Clear Light Media. Please subscribe, share, like and comment.